Welcome to San Jose State. And to, I want to say, the first ever Cultures of the Iranian Diaspora Conference. Um, so I'm really pleased to see so many of you here and so many friends and people who I admire. Um, many of you I've known over the years and um, there's nothing more important to me than to gather all these smart, creative people in one space and have them meet each other and talk with each other. Um, so this is, I hope, uh, the beginning of a very long delayed and rich conversation about the ways that art, literature, film, and culture in general can help shape a vision and a representation for our community and for Iranians around the globe. And um, that it evokes maybe a different story than the one that sort of uh, vocalized daily in the news media. Um, I feel like art has something else to say and we should be listening to artists. Um, many of you know that I've been involved with uh, literature and collecting the literature of the Iranian diaspora uh, for some time. Uh, I dare I say it, almost 20 years. And through my efforts and the connections that I've made with many wonderful people who are sitting in this room, um, I've had the opportunity and the ability to maybe help begin to, to create a vocabulary about this experience, about who Iranians are in um, the other spaces and places they inhabit. I've felt a need to move beyond the, the work of individual artists and to sort of collectively con converse about um, the kinds of things that people are doing. And um, one person who I have incredible admiration for is my friend Tarane Hemami. And many of you know her because she, in some ways, she and I are like two tops spinning in tandem, um, trying to bring together artists. And um, it's really thanks to her that I think this conference is even happening because um, she and I talked about it a long time ago. And um, I had the kind of institutional support to make it happen, but um, she egged me on in ways that sometimes you really need somebody pushing behind you to make it happen. Um, I also, as you know, uh, many of you know, I'm a strong advocate for collaboration and moving beyond the boundaries that separa separate us as academics and artists writers and painters, journalists and storytellers. Um, I'm really happy my dean is here because she's one of those people who wants to crash those uh, artificial boundaries and um, I think it's really time. So this is a good way to do it, to start it here. We're remaking and reinventing and keeping alive the voices and vision of Iran and the Iranian experience uh, through our work collectively and individually, and sometimes um, in a way that represents the silenced voices in Iran. So I'm really also proud of the work that many of you are doing to sort of um, really take the space that's not available to artists in Iran. I hope in the course of the next two days, you'll have the opportunity to speak with each other, share your work and your ideas, and to really begin to stimulate a conversation that creates opportunities for innovation and creativity that maybe you hadn't considered before. I'm really happy and exhausted um, that this conference is really finally here. But there are many people who helped to make it um, come to a fruition. First of all, I do need to thank uh, the f uh, Roshan Cultural Heritage Institute and the Parsa Community Foundation. It was really thanks to them and their faith in San Jose State and people like me and Shaheen um, that makes it possible to, to basically begin the process of doing public programming. And this is, for me, one of the sort of highlights of my year um, is to finally see all of your faces here. In addition to Parsa and Roshan Cultural Heri Heritage Institute, I also want to thank the Hand Foundation. Um, tonight's play, which I so want all of you to see, um, is uh, made possible with a, a gift that we got last week from the Hand Foundation. Um, it's over at the Le Petit Trianon Theater, uh, North 5th Street, so if you, any of you want to ask about that later. Um, also, Cal Humanities uh, gave me a grant for a digital story sto storytelling project, uh, Iranian American Voices of Silicon Valley, which you'll be able to see tomorrow. 
and additional support came from my college dean, Lisa Volendorf, um, as well as from the Samuel M. Jordan Center for Persian Studies from UC Irvine, which made it possible for some of the artists from Southern California to be here. And then, of course, I'd like to thank the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. Um, public spaces are shrinking every day, so we have to support and champion libraries because um, without this space, and if any of you tried to walk across campus, you'll see that there's not very many spaces that are easy to get to. It's symbolic, I think, that libraries are one of the surviving public spaces. So thank you to the library and to the folks here who are helping us record today's event. And then finally, um, I want to thank those young people outside because Sarah Agazades, which many of you like got emails from phone calls and she fielded your questions so I didn't have to do it. She is an amazing human being and uh, if you think I'm a spinning top, she's two spinning tops so she can't hear me but um, when you go out there please thank her. Um, and also Umi Nakvi and uh, Ritu Shristava, who's outside, and also Nasim Nika, who's in the back. She teaches Persian here, and she's a big champion of the program. And then Sherbana, who's taking photographs. So I just wanted to acknowledge all the hard work of many people, as well as Shaheen um, Gerami. And now I'd like to introduce Lisa Volendorf, who's the Dean of the College of Humanities, who's a champion of humanities and arts. And I don't think I would be having the energy to do this if she didn't say, go for it. So thank you, Lisa. One other person I want to point out before Lisa speaks, and that's Paul McNamara. The gen raise your hand, Paul. Paul, Paul works in an advancement, and we just yesterday we talked about this. That he saw me with my child in a stroller about nine years ago, and we had that first conversation about doing fundraising for Persian studies at San Jose State. So I'm really happy you came. Thank you. Thank you, Persis. Wonderful. It's so nice to see so many people here today. It's no coincidence that Persis has just listed a very long list of extraordinary individuals. She did not list herself, but of course she is first and foremost among those with Shaheen who have made the conference possible, but also who have built Persian studies really out of nothing at San Jose State. So I have been at San Jose State for two years. I have the very glorious and very privileged job of being the Dean of Humanities and the Arts. Our college is constructed in such a way that we are very focused on human creativity, creating students who know how to be critical thinkers, who are creative problem solvers in the world, and I get to work every day with faculty like Persis and many other people who are very devoted to the same kind of values and mission that all of you represent, which is to be focused on all of humanity, to be very much focused on human rights, and to teach the next generations to have the, hold those same values dear. Last night I got to hear Hillary Clinton. She spoke on our campus, and she spoke, it was an incredible experience. She spoke about the importance of supporting women and girls across the world, and she said that we have the obligation to make all of the glass ceilings disappear so every, all of humanity can indeed be part of a future that is better than the, the past that we all know. And I was thinking the whole time that I look forward to coming to this conference today, which holds those same values very close to our hearts, which is that we care to educate the world, to be compassionate, to be, to be ethical, and of course, to be, comp uh, to be focused on being creative and using our creativity to solve the world's problems. So I thank you all. I admire all of your work. And most particularly, my heart goes out to both Shaheen and Persis for work that you do. I know much of it goes unheralded to bring people together to do such important things for the next generation. So thank you.